Tonight's top story has had many of you talking all day on our Facebook page. The New York State Department of Corrections and Community Supervision has announced a new initiative to bring tablets to inmates free of charge. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. It's through a new contract with a company called JPay. And the company says New York inmates will start getting computer tablets this summer. And as you can imagine, people have pretty strong feelings on this. Channel 2's Erica Brecker is looking into some of those concerns tonight. Erica. Good evening, Scott and Mary Alice. I tried to look at this from a well-rounded stance. So today, Channel 2 got answers from the company about access and how JPay recoups its cost. We also talked to a corrections officer, a homicide victim's sister, and a prisoner advocacy group on how they view this move. He um, was my best friend and um, my only sibling and I miss him beyond measure. Julie Quinn is the sister of Nicholas Josens, who died in a 2015 shooting. His killer is in prison and Quinn is outraged. The man who took her brother's life is getting a tablet. Why is he getting rewarded? You are in prison and as far as I'm concerned, that's supposed to be a place where you don't get gifts and that to me is a gift. The Department of Corrections and Community Supervision announced a contract with JPay, a private company that will provide its tablets free to state inmates starting this summer. I imagine you guys have concerns. Yes, we have major concerns with um, the facilities are glass free. The correctional facilities are glass free. Glass is actually a contraband that it's not allowed in that the Department of Correction Community Supervision will be giving every single inmate a glass tablet. NYSCOBA says when there's a will, there's a way, and the union worries inmates could break the tablets to use glass shards as weapons. We find that appalling that, that you know, there's all kinds of avenues that for inmate families to come visit them while they're incarcerated, and that they're just going to make it easier and harder on staff to regulate what the inmates are doing. Even a local inmate advocacy group is raising eyebrows at this decision. Karima Amin with Prisoners Are People Too said by phone she thinks it's a money grab. When our Ron Plants asked the company how it'll recoup the cost of the free tablets, they responded, similar to purchasing a song on iTunes or an online game, incarcerated individuals will have the same opportunity to purchase entertainment and media products. Family can contact them and send them money for them to buy things to what can I send to my brother? I can't send him anything. This contract still has a lot of unanswered questions like how a secure internet would work for purchases and Skyping and via this contract we're still looking at where possibly taxpayer money might eventually be involved since the prisons are state funded. But Scott and Mary Alice, there's another side to this too. Right. This is a secure internet that they're talking about. The prisoners wouldn't have the full access to the full internet, correct? Correct. We're not talking about Facebook and Snapchat. We're talking about ebooks, educational tools, things that would help further their education and prepare them for society upon uh, entering the world again. Right. Yeah, two sides, absolutely, and I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more about this going forward. Erica, Most thanks. definitely. Thank you, Erica.